Swap out your Amazon TBA tracking numbers quickly. How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to tap the subscribe button. And so in this video, we're just gonna be going over just like I just said. We're just gonna be talking about how the best way to swap out these Amazon TBA tracking numbers are because in order to get your payout, you need to show marketplace or shops that the product was delivered to the buyer. So you wanna show them that and that's the only way to get your payout. So we're gonna show you the best way to do that. Also, you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end because I'm gonna be showing you how to avoid claims because a lot of people get a lot of claims when it has to do with the tracking numbers and swapping those out when they're using Amazon. So make sure you're staying to the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing you how to almost like 100% avoid a claim. But if you are someone who doesn't want anything to do with this, you don't wanna learn about tracking numbers, you don't wanna learn about how to post, best way to post or fulfill or anything like that, but you do want to see passive income coming in every month, then definitely down in the link in our description is a Zoom qualification call with our guy Andrew over at e-commerce university and they have an automation service where they will do all the work for you and they're gonna get you massive results completely passively and you do not need to do anything after the onboarding process with them. However, if you are someone who does want to do this by yourself, which we always teach you guys how to do and I think it's great if you guys do wanna do this on your own if you're not looking for the automation, one thing that's gonna really, really help you out is FBM Fox. You're gonna actually wanna go up and sign up through there and you could go on the free list that they actually offer right now and they let you post review pictures through there very quickly. So definitely go check them out and you can also use our code Millionaire Map and also the link in our description. You can use that link and then type in code Millionaire Map once you're signing up after the seven day free trial. But let's get right into the video. So what we're gonna actually be using to get these tracking numbers is OA Genius. If you guys are not familiar with them, you need to get familiar with them because they are the easiest way to get tracking numbers and it, it's just it's so easy to work with them and how user friendly their website is and I'll be putting pop-ups on the screen showing you guys how to actually use them throughout the course of this video just so you guys don't have no idea what you're doing once you actually go over to their website. But I'm gonna link their website actually at the in the description so you guys can go check them out after this video and start using them to start swapping out these tracking numbers. Now, with OA Genius, they originally just started out actually only having FedEx tracking numbers, so you could only swap for FedEx tracking numbers, which still worked very effective, and we sometimes it's all you really need, especially using Amazon with short delivery times. You don't really need something that's like way far out with a delivery time. So now they actually switched, and now they actually have FedEx and UPS, which is, which is a huge bonus because the thing is when you have a tracking number that's set so far out on Amazon, you need to get one that's also that far out on, especially for shops because you can't go in and change tracking numbers. So them adding UPS is absolutely killer because now you have another entire shipping service that you can try to pull tracking numbers from that actually have some further out. And I've been noticing that UPS actually has some further out tracking numbers. So it's been actually helping us out a ton. So if you actually go to their website, you'll have to buy a certain amount of tracking numbers with them. They have different plans. Obviously when you buy in bulk, you can buy them for a lesser price per each. So it's somewhere about like 25 cents per tracking number, which is not bad at all. For 25 cents for one tracking number per order, like that, that's not that's not affecting your margin really that much because we always tell you go for high margins. You should be going anywhere 12 to like 18 when you're on Marketplace or even 20 on Marketplace and then higher on shops. So 25 cents isn't really affecting your, your profit margin, especially with the claims you're gonna avoid and just just how much easier it makes because you don't have to try to go back in afterwards and then re-put in a tracking number. Even when Amazon gives us UPS or USPS tracking numbers, we don't even use those. We fulfill an order, put the tracking number in immediately after. So it's done right there and it's that easy. We don't have to fulfill it, come back to it a couple of days while we're fulfilling. It, it's so much more work when you're getting a high volume like that we're seeing, it's hard to always be going back to orders, finding them, putting in tracking numbers when we can fulfill an order, put in a tracking number right away, and then the work is done on that order, and then we get our payout to come in five days after it delivers. So once you have bought a certain amount of credits, if you wanna start off slow, just the same way that we did when we first got it started out, we didn't wanna buy the thousands of tracking numbers because we are like, okay, what if we don't actually do all these orders, then are we just wasting money? So that's absolutely understandable. You can start slow just the same way that we did. Now we're buying them like thousands and thousands at a time just because it's cheaper because we know we're gonna be using them anyway because of the volume that we're doing. But 
you can wait till you get there if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to waste the money, that's completely understandable. So definitely start out maybe on the lowest plan and then start to upgrade as you go when you know that you're going to be getting these sales in. Now, once you buy credits, you're going to be put on the screen that I'll show right here and it's going to be asking you whether you want to use FedEx and UPS or you want to search for FedEx and, or just UPS. Now, the thing that you're going to want to know about this is you don't want to accidentally put in a, you don't want to go into Marketplace, say that your supplier or your shipping service is FedEx and then put in a UPS tracking number by accident. So what we do is, and you can do whatever you want, if if you want to use FedEx slash the UPS one, and then just go and look and make sure you know which one you're plugging in, go ahead. But what we do is we actually just use FedEx because this is what we've always used, what's worked, and then if there's not a tracking number for that far out, then we'll do FedEx slash UPS and see if we can get one further out. And then we just make sure we put in the right shipping service in when we're putting that in. But we just start at the base FedEx so we know because we, kind of a habit to go click FedEx then put a tracking number in so you don't want to confuse yourself there unless if you're just if you've never used it before then you might actually know to check whether it's UPS or FedEx so that's up to you what you want to do in there that's kind of personal preference whether if you're someone that might forget that and you don't want to mess up a, a tracking number because then that can get a little sticky and then you can actually lose the sale so whatever you want to do for that or if you just want to use UPS to start out with whatever you want to do but here is the biggest thing how to avoid claims which not a lot of people talk about so what if the FedEx package actually is delivered before the Amazon gets delivered so they're gonna get a notification saying that their package has been delivered to them when it's actually not at the front door so now they're gonna freak out and they're gonna to try to message you and if you're not responding to them, maybe within like 10 minutes, they could panic and they could file a claim on you because it says it's supposed to be delivered and it's not delivered. Then they go check their tracking number. They see that that's actually not their, their town or their city or their address or whatever it is. And they're like, hey, they sent it to the wrong spot. I'm filing a claim because they sent it somewhere else. Whereas to the workaround around this, we always, always, always set our tracking numbers for two days after when the Amazon one's supposed to be delivered. Amazon's supposed to be delivered on Tuesday. We're gonna set a tracking number that's supposed to be delivered on Thursday. So that once people get their product in, like let's say they get it eight o'clock at night on Tuesday, they have it, then they get a notification they see on their phone saying that the package has been delivered like two days after, they, they, they don't care. They're not gonna be like, wait, why is this two days after? They have their product, they're, they're not worried about it anymore. We've never ran into an issue where someone's like, why did I get a notification afterwards? They're not gonna, they're not gonna ask about that. They got their product, they got what they, they paid for. They're, they're not gonna be worried about that. So that's why we always say, set it for, try to at least set it for two days out if you can't at the very, very minimum one day after. Because sometimes something can get pushed forward and then you run into those situations, but not always as often. They're, with, with these tracking numbers, they're usually pretty much spot on to the day and it doesn't get pushed forward too much. So try to do two days after and if you can't one at the least don't do it for the same day you you want to wait a period of time right before you have to put a tracking number in then go put one in and hopefully there's one out for that long and if you had to do it same day or something like that the only workaround after that is if it's the same day you could message and say hey your package might be running a little late like yada 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 tell them tell them that it could be coming late don't be surprised about that i'll be in touch with you i'll be in contact we'll make sure that we get you that that way they're not panicking so that's a good thing that you can do if that you actually run into that problem now, another thing let's say it's being sent to los angeles california right and you can't find a tracking number out for that far because when you're on OA Genius, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just gonna put in their city and state. It's all you need to put in and they send you a FedEx or a UPS tracking number that is going to that same city and state. That's why it looks like it matches up with the tracking number that that, that person where that person's from. So one thing that I do is if I can't get one to that certain city two days after, what I'll just do is I won't even put a city in, just put the state in of California, then try to get one, which you have way better chance of getting one further out because there's so much of a, so many more cities they can pick from. They can pick from any city in California that has a tracking number that far out. And if I'm setting it for two days out, they don't care what city it's being delivered to anyway because they already got their product. So that's why, that's what I always do. And worst, worst case, if you literally cannot find a tracking number and you don't wanna have to contact them, so try to get it for two or three days out on a big state like California or Texas or something that you know is gonna have an order coming in. Try to go through them, or New York always has a lot of them coming in. Go through one of those states and set it for like two to three days out because you can probably, you're gonna be able to get one further out with a different city, or sorry, a different state. 
So definitely try that. That's a way you can avoid claims. So that's how we always avoid claims. We don't run into any claims anymore unless there's a pro problem with the product. There's no more claims we run into because of delivery option. So that is OA Genius in, in a nutshell. I definitely recommend going, checking them out. Like I said, link in description. I definitely recommend if you're gonna start drop shipping on, on Facebook Marketplace or shops, definitely recommend getting on there. We've been using them for since we started now probably like two weeks and we were like, we, we got to switch this up because especially because if you get locked out of an account, sometimes on marketplace, you can't put in the tracking numbers. We put in tracking numbers right away now. So if we get locked out, it doesn't matter because we're not gonna be losing money on things that we already ordered that we couldn't put in tracking for. So I definitely recommend giving them a try and definitely recommend going to them to get your tracking numbers if you're using Amazon, which most of you guys probably are and also should be because Amazon's the most variety of products for the cheapest price with the best shipping. So we definitely recommend using Amazon and also using OA Genius. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.